materials that stay in their glassy state and some of them that stay in their rubbery state, in their liquid state. The key here is, instead of looking at moisture content, we need to look at water activity. These materials have to have the exact same water activity so that we do not have moisture migration. I mean, if we get moisture migration from the soft moist kibbles into the dry expanded kibbles, <coughs> we're going to have mold issues, we're going to change textures of those products. So again, we need to balance it on water activity. So what happens is we keep half of the material in the glassy state, we keep half of it in the rubbery state. When we're looking at formula development, let's say, for example, we're going to develop a product that has a soft, pliable, treat-like texture. We can take the ingredients, we can blend them together in the lab, and we can actually measure our transition curves. We can determine its glassy region, its rubbery region, its fluid region. And if we have a material that's at about 11 or 12 percent moisture, 20 degrees C, we can see that it's going to have a hard, glassy structure. So we have a couple of choices. If we want to make it soft and rubbery, we can take the moisture to 22, 23%, or we can raise the temperature. 